Now think about this for a minute, look. If you can have an opinion, can God have an opinion? Or shall we gag him? It's fair, isn't it? If that fella there decided he wants to vote Labour and I want to vote UKIP, I'm entitled to honour. Okay? And if he wants to have an opinion on something, he can have it. And so can I. And so can you. Now, if God has an opinion and he says, God does not believe in atheists, but I'm quite sure they exist, aren't you? That's true, isn't it? Because I meet them every day. <laughs> so if you say, I'm an atheist, so that obliterates God, it gets rid of him, the logic falls down. Now, the big question is, folks, has he ever turned up? And the answer is he has. Even Jesus' enemies, this is his enemies. If you get your enemies to say something about you like this, he said, we know who you are, Jesus, son of the most high God. We have, and you have come before our time to persecute us. That was the wicked spirit world said that to him. Pontius Pilate who tried him said this, I find no fault with this innocent man. You see, ladies and gentlemen, when Jesus came into the world, he why, could do... Why did he come so early? Why did he come today? Well, that's a good question. What do you think? Uh, well, you me. Yeah. well... I, we can't really decide when he's going to show up, but he had turned up 2,000 years ago, so that history shows. I think anything in this whole world will need today. You get, you're absolutely right. Do you know what? Vinny's my name, what's your name? Uh, my name is Terry. Gary? Terry, yeah. Terry, Terry. Terry, you're absolutely right. But you know, there's a second coming of Jesus, don't you? Well, I've never heard so, yeah. Yeah. Now, what I'm saying to you is that you're right, Terry. Yeah, the well, second coming is going to be the end of the world. That's it, that's right. But, but the thing is, Terry, my problem is this. In my life... Like, like you, you are talking about the most holiest being in, in the universe, maybe a million universes. Why would he come to destroy us? No, he's not coming to destroy us. He said he's come to seek and to save that which he's lost. And he's come to forgive us. Terry, he's come to forgive us. Now, if you're forgiven today, when he comes, Terry, you'll be happy. If you're not forgiven, when he comes, you won't be happy. I'm really looking forward to him coming because I don't want this world to carry on. It's making a mess of itself. And you know, you know, when the bomb went off in Manchester, a guy in London called John, 52, took his life. Do you know why he took his life? Because he was in the 7-7 seven, seven bomb. And he said, if that's it, if that's what we're getting back to again. And he was a few years ago, 7-7. Seven, because seven. people are saying, it's horrible. Now, what I'm saying to you is this. But Terry, say it all now. let's say let's say Jesus came at midnight tonight. Let's just say that way. And you were in bed and walking down the street. Well, you could be anywhere. The same thing would happen like what, what happened in, what, uh, when he did walk down the street. They said, no, he's not. Yeah. But on this second coming, it says every eye will see him, every knee will bow, and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. And what he's going to do, he's going to come and sort this world out. Because when Jamie Bulger was killed, that was terrible. And loads of people are getting away with it, aren't they? Look at Ian Brady, he dies the other week, not even telling us where the kids are. Wicked man. Do they mean for people just to ride a horse? Uh, grow their own food? You know, you know. No, what he means, Terry, is this, that each one of us are responsible for how we've lived. So I'm responsible, but then we're all guilty. But here's the good news. Jesus died on a cross for Terry. I understand that. And he died for Vinny. And he died for these people too. And our sins were laid on him. And the Son of God loved us and gave himself for us. Now, what he says is this. He says, would you like to be forgiven? If I said now... I'm going to give a hundred quid to everybody in this precinct. Does it mean every everybody in the precinct gets a hundred quid? I'll give an ice cream to everybody in this precinct. Does it mean <laughs> Exactly, you're right, Charlie. But the point is, unless somebody comes and takes it, it won't be theirs, will it? Now, it's the same with the gift of God, eternal life. Jesus says, I can forgive you. I can give you life eternal. Now, for me, I was 19, and I asked him to come and forgive me the boss of my life and he did and Terry if you've never done that it's an offer today won't get into heaven I was a captain I went to mass and I went to a priest but it's only Jesus who gets you into heaven but here's the point 
company down there. No, Terry, but you don't have to hope, you can know. All right, all right I'm all thank you. Thank you very much, Terry. But I'm giving a little gospel to anybody who'll take it from my hand. Have a lovely afternoon. Would you like to I'll turn one up. Thank you. Thank you very much.